not about getting married. For them, it's about being married. Love is love. Everybody say that. Love is love. You're wearing it. I'm like, I'm gonna cry that it's gonna end. This is Pride Month. <laughs> and I am beyond proud of both of you gentlemen for standing here today in front of everyone, being your true selves, and showing everyone what love means. This is exactly what. Look at how clear it is. I already don't want this day to end. Like, it's exactly what we asked for. This oh is unbelievable. Oh my god. You literally, like, I, I couldn't even me? put it together in my mind this way. It's just, and, and it's exactly it everything. Guys, I remember being so scared of being gay, thinking something was wrong with me, and I prayed for me to change. It's because of everyone here today, I began to fully embrace who I was born to be. And instead of praying to change, I started wishing to just be happy. And I am. With you, I'm so fucking happy. You are the most nurturing, <laughs> humble, and patient man I've ever met. God, uh... And I myself am none of those things. <laughs> <sighs> They're laughing because it's true. <laughs> so stop. I didn't understand what true happiness was until you came into my life. I spent so much of my life hidden, afraid of who I am, afraid that all my relationships would deteriorate, afraid that the safety walls I built around me would be broken. But once we found each other, I forgot that fear. Those walls fell, and for the first time, I felt like I belonged here. You sat by my side when I found the CD my dad gave me. It was one of the last things he gave me before he passed away. I played it and I cried. You sat there with nothing to say. No anecdotes, no rationale just love. You let me be weak and vulnerable, which was exactly what I needed in that moment. I can never love someone the way that I love you. So stop listening to your mind, know you're all thinking you're right, just stop. I vow to love you the way my mom and dad have loved each other the last 45 years and the way your mom forever loves your father. I wish I had the chance to meet him, but if he's here today and I do believe he is, I vow to him that I'll take care of you and love you with all of my being. I'm thankful I was able to meet a piece of your dad by falling in love with the man he raised. I wish he was here. Me too. He is. He is. That's him. By the power vested in me by some website in the <laughs> state of California, <laughs> I pronounce you husband and husband, you may kiss. <laughs> Patrick, what an honor and a privilege it has been to be your big brother. I have been able to watch you grow into one of the kindest, most empathetic, hardworking, intelligent, and positive people I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. When I first met you at the farm in Virginia, 
I thought you were an untamable ball of energy. <laughs> this guy's got enough energy for the whole room. <laughs> Your energy and openness to myself and family has been touching. I love you, and I love you more for making something greater of my cousin. Also, he dances well. <laughs> Little tip for everyone, if you see a circle of people form around him later, back up. <laughs> PK was also in the midst of being cast for the real world. A very restless and determined PK said, screw it, MTV, and started a YouTube channel instead. Pretty soon, Mike and his crowd-pleasing calves became a fan favorite, and it became the Team Pike show, which was better than the real world because it was their real life. What can I possibly say that is more entertaining than anything they've already shared on social media? So, I tapped a few longtime Team Pike fans for some inspiration, too. <laughs> Here's what Karen Deep Singh had to say. PK and Mike are the reason I believe in love and relationships. And from Sherry M. in Munich, love needs you guys consistently make me feel better we about need, the world that we, we live in. Fighting. And lastly, Sexy Poppy said, <laughs> when I hear PK and Mike, the first words I think of is beautiful. Beautiful guys, beautiful life, beautiful love. Thank you for sharing it all with us. Michael, seeing how PK has made you a more rounded person has been a great joy. You have become a far more compassionate, humble, and patient than I have ever thought possible. Man, I'm so proud of the person you've become. Uh, honestly, anyone who knew you before can clearly see you've become your truest self. You're happier, more confident, and still have that touch of OCD we all love. I firsthand saw him pivot from one of the most difficult things a person can go through to being a uh, three sport honor roll athlete and subsequently chasing and achieving every dream that he put his mind to. Mike, <clears throat> your dad be very proud of you today. And I know he'd be embracing PK. I'm so lucky to become a brother in law to Mike, and your relationship is an inspiration to so many people. Shout out Poppy 241 or the blue.